loading limited number of items from firebase so we have a app here and that i'm first loading two items and then clicking that button or uh, linear i am clicking two more items it could be 20 it could be 10 it could be 25 anything you want you can set a list uh, you can set a limit for loading items from database first of all i have a project here named app store i will download it from my project store and i have to download these pro blocks i already have a project i will configure i will configure it with that firebase credentials so i don't have to upload items again After configuring, if I run this project, I have 9 items for testing here and it loads all of them. Ok. To limit. So here from our created blocks, paste that first block. We have to pass few parameters here. First is a query name. Let's just call it query and then enter the uh, DB component name. I have created uh, it with my DB, so I will enter my DB. Then pass the limit how many items you want to load. let's just increase our limit by four every time we call this function it will load four more items and then enter same query name which we have previously entered and then here you have to provide event listener which we will create shortly Okay, another thing to be noted, I'm using it be because I already have these blocks, but as for you don't have them, you have just downloaded from my project store, you have to import them. So go to developer tools, create new plate. Click on the import, choose your blocks that you want to import. And in the project here, where you are getting items, I am getting them in type parse block. I will make the query. And then I have this block. As for variable names, enter same names which you have previously entered such as query and emit listener name make sure you enter same name on both fields and then 
we need a list string i don't have any so i will create one pass that list string here and a list map and you have to pass same list string and same list map second time also and that second block should must be outside of any block so i am closing my more block here with curly brace as i closed the block i have to open a curly brace at the end and as you can see there are two sections in that block so code in first block will be executed primarily but if it throws an exception something goes wrong then code in second block will be executed so i will just show a message e dot get message so we will know which exception is thrown and act accordingly to solve it at the very end of list i am adding this temporary map because we need it to identify that this is last entry in the list and we will use it to load more values and we will use it to load more items so we have a special key i am last and we will add this map to list map in our custom view we will add a duplicate linear let's rename it to last so we can identify it easily and modify it as per our need I suddenly realized that I am not adding map on a position where it should be. So let me correct my mistake. I have to add it to the list map which I am using in the list view and it should be on the end. So I am placing it outside of repeat statement. In the on bind custom view, I am checking if on current position my list map contains key I am last. I will hide actual linear and show the last linear. And on clicking that, I will call the function which loads more data. Otherwise, hide the last linear and do as usual. At this point, my app is working, but it is not working as I expected because that block type parse gets called first time on create it sets limit 4 and second time when i change type from apps to game it gets called once again and set limit to double what was 8 and it loads 8 items instead of 4 items so i will change limit on some other point instead of that block Second thing you might notice it was that 
there are three grid views but only one of them is loading because here in their particular blocks we are adding data to another list map and we are using different list maps for each grid view and this block checks for the key category which is not present in last map which we just added for making a distinction in last key so we will just simply place try and catch block and it will ignore that entry which does not have category key and now let's move forward to fixing the limit problem we will remove this block from here and change the limit from on bind custom view I just hope it will work a little bit better with this new change. It's still not working, no surprises, because we haven't assigned a value to limit variable. By default, when we create a number variable in a sketch where it is value is zero. So let's set a limit. Uh, let's let me set it to two items. Because I only have few items, I just want to show you how it changes the limit every time you click last item in the list map. There is no sense in setting the limit in as little as 9 items, but this is just a demonstration. Imagine if your app has hundreds and thousands of items, then when you load a thousand items at same time, your app will literally freeze or at least it will start lagging on that point. So it is better to have a limit when you have an enormous amount of data in your app.